Carlos, we give you our many congratulations for surely what is one of the best wins of the eight wins that you've managed this season. Of course, uh, we knew how tough would be that game. Uh, but it's true that we wanted to, to change the dynamic of the last two results, and especially the fact that we play here at home. We wanted to, to show a very competitive mentality today because, for me, the demandings, the physical demanding, the technical demanding, and the, the mental demanding of this game was too, too high. And we know that we have to work very hard today to, to achieve one result at that one. Can you let us in a little bit, Carlos, on, on your shape plans today? Uh, the, the method that you used, because clearly West Bromwich are being, have been candidates for promotion, they've started very strongly. How do you plan to get in behind them and stop them defensively? First of all, uh, you never know what is going to happen in the game, but before to play that game, uh, I was thinking that the fact that we didn't have Hoggy in the middle of the pitch, need uh, maybe to work, or we were thinking to compensate it with Turton as a right wing back and to be a strong in defense because against this team, as soon as you are not strong in defense and they start to win the game, it's more difficult to, to take something positive. So the idea was to be defensively very solid and after using the space that they give us, they give, they gave today to us because they, they was very difficult to play short because they are a very aggressive team. But it's true like that they are very aggressive. Sometimes you can find some species in behind to, to surprise. So the idea was to have the mentality, to have the understanding of the game. But for me, the players understand well the game. And after the key is not understanding of the game. The key is to impose and to do and to make what exactly you, the game is demanding to, to us. In some moments we did, in some moments we couldn't break the press and we couldn't create enough opportunities. I think in the second half we were very in organizing defense. We fix some points that for me were important because they create some problems with movement on behind of one of the strikers to the right side in, in the first half. Uh, we didn't stop enough well the crosses in the first half. That's why they start to have the feeling that they could create more clear chances. But it's, uh, I was watching that in the second half, the team were dominating better the, the game in defense without have the option to play a lot in attack. But when you are winning the game, if you defend well, always you are going to have opportunities in the counter-attack, especially against one team like that one that are going to be even more aggressive. Always you can have options to, with the movements in behind using the space that they leave in the back of the central backs. And I think it was clear that we had a couple of oppor good opportunities to, to can score the second goal. We didn't do and we have to compete until the end in the way that we competed today to get the three points. It was another early goal, another early Daniel Sinani goal great for the home fans to see one but concentration focus communication was so key for so long for your players how pleased are you with that particular function uh, that they stayed concentrated on your plans for the whole of the game that, that was still to unravel in front of them we knew that as soon as you lost the concentration two seconds against this team you are going to suffer the consequence of the losing of the focus or concentration because they are one team very aggressive, that they move very fast from defense to, to attack. They have three strikers that everyone has a very good level. Of course, they are one of the best strikers that they can have in the, in the league. So it was key to manage this concentration. For me, the team did really well, because in many opportunities they could use the space in our back of defenders, but for me, the concentration of the central backs were brilliant today. The aggressive in the middle of the pitch in some moments was very good too. And it's true that it was difficult to impose our style, it was difficult to play short, but sometimes you need to play depending where the spaces are going to be, and today the spaces were clear in behind, but even if we didn't use enough times to this space to kind of balance more the game, but the mentality of the players were, for me, brilliant, and without the mentality it would be impossible to, to achieve this, what the achievement of the, of the team today. Take some congratulations yourself and your, your fellow coaches, Carlos, because you've beaten a very good team, having clearly done extra homework on West Bromwich Albion. On individuals today, I want to ask you about Scott High and his continuing maturity, but also Danny Ward. It was very noticeable that even though seconds before he'd missed a chance, which would have put Huddersfield Town 2-0 ahead, you were still quick to thank him and congratulate him on his contribution when you brought him off as a substitute. For me, uh, the game that Danny Ward did today was a very good game because it was not easy to play, to be competing for all the balls, to after to keep even some balls and to make one hard work that he was doing for me fantastic in the game. I did have 
my plan was not to play with him as a striker, to use more Sinani as a striker, but watching the work that Danny Ward was doing today, we didn't change and we were keeping playing with him and Sinani on the sides. And for me, it was very important to use him, making from impossible balls to, to keep possible balls that allow the team to attack and to recover a little bit more and to go to offensive hall and take some throw-ins. That is true that we didn't manage well the throw-ins in attack, but allow us to, to start to balance the game and don't be suffering defence a lot. And Scott High, you asked him to do a job which involved a lot of responsibility. He's a young man, maturing quickly, but how did you think he, he carried the responsibility of the role you gave him today against a very good opponent? I think uh, the last two games of Scott High uh, allow us to have the full confidence in him because for me against Cardiff he did a very good game. After he weren't he wasn't training with the with the team during international break because he was playing with Scotland. The second game against with Scotland for me was a brilliant game. He was managing very well and especially playing the position as a position midfielder. I always think that Scott High is a player that the best of him can arrive when he has a space to attack because he's a running player. But today he was playing with this maturity in the middle of the pitch and for me uh, O'Brien and him did a very good and complicated work both because it was necessary to win all the battles in the middle of the pitch to don't provoke uh, to stop their attacks and try to create some attack of, of our team and I know that Scott High when he received the ball in a good body shape always have a, a very good connection with the striker and we can use him and he can help a lot of the team to, to achieve performance like the one that we achieved today. Can you enlighten us a little bit on John Russell finally, Carlos? We've been introduced to him properly at home for the first time today. What kind of a role can we expect him to play in the team in terms of his position and his long-term influence? He's obviously physically very impressive. Uh, is he an attacking or a defensive midfielder for those who have not seen him in, in the B team? He is both things. Being honest, he's one player similar to, to Scott High. Similar in terms of the, that he can play in both positions, but I will prioritize more him as a positional midfielder more than as attacking midfielder. But being honest, he has resources to play high in the pitch and he has resources to be more in defense. It's true that he's a player that still needs to adapt to the tempo of the competition, but of course now without Ho in the next week and without Vallejo in the next week, he's going to be one of the possibilities in one of the options that for sure we are going to watch playing even more minutes than he was playing today.